Welcome back viewers. Here we are today. I haven't posted in a while. So I picked this up. It's a creeper seed toolbox. I uh, purchased it at a farm and home farm store, if you will. Uh, it was $110 and I figured I needed an upgrade. I've been sitting on a little craftsman one. So we're going to get this unboxed and show you guys. So what comes in the box, it's got all it says here, 350 pound load capacity and just all the swivels and it shows it's got the drawers and magnetic stuff, all kinds of stuff. So let's get it open. I've already pre-cut it for the video. So we're back, we've got the box open. It looks like we're going to have to assemble this. It didn't come assembled, so I'll just kind of take it apart here and show you guys all what parts come with it. Obviously this is based on the front of the box, one of the side panels. These look to be some of the screwdriver holders and then get in for transportation. Okay. We'll get the foam off here. Yeah. Oops. Well, it's pretty durable. That's the other panel. And now it looks like this just has to slide off. It doesn't look as if there are any directions, so it must be straightforward. So overlooking the product here, looks like we have three drawers. Oh, maybe it does have directions. Yep. Are the drawer liners in there Little too? direction right. box. Drawer liners look like they're already pre in there. They're probably uh, six inches by a foot drawer. Wheels? Like that. The wheels are probably... Yep, the wheels are in the bottom drawer with all the hardware. All right. So here it is assembled. All you have to do, all you had to do was uh you actually had to flip it upside down. There's just two screws and nuts right there and right there. Then you put the wheels on through these little uh, star head nuts. The drawers are already pre-assembled and then these have little clips. So you fold them up, you lock them. That way they won't go nowhere once you're rolling around. These are also magnetic. So, uh, I don't know where it went. Exhaust washers, bolts, for example. See, it ain't going nowhere. Yeah. Magnets aren't that strong, but they'll do. Around the back here, we have for really anything you can hold wrenches, screwdrivers, ratchets, hammers, really anything. So, to give you a little brief example, here, we'll just take some chain or some chain cutter. Stick it in here. That was a fail. <laughs> Epic fail. Um, take a wrench, for example, here. Standard 13 millimeter wrench. We'll put it. Kind of got to size the hole up to make sure. So, for example, stuff like that, or we uh, put screwdrivers in it. Just little stuff, you know, stuff that just isn't going anywhere when you roll around. But other than that, that's about it. To put it together, it didn't take but 10 minutes, so the instructions are pretty easy to read. The drawers, they have kind of cheapy liner in them, so it's like kind of paperish, not very thick, so probably in the future we'll be changing that out. The drawers aren't like really fancy toolboxes where they shut and close. You kind of have to push them in and, uh, they kind of get a little wedged here on the sides, but that's all right. Other than that, it's definitely an upgrade from an old Craftsman, what we had, and yeah, it'll be a nice garage feature. 